fun, happy Wednesday. Thank you for joining me here tonight. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make lovely and quirky hand embroidery kits. And I'm here every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. That's uh, 9.30 uh, Eastern and 6.30 Pacific. And it's a time where we can relax and craft for about an hour here. And I work on projects from beginning to end so you can be part of the whole process along the way. Uh, tonight, we're continuing the spooky clock tower from Betts White's Lil Felt Village stitch along. And we got our little... Um, little door on the pedestal here. So this is the, the first layer of the clock tower, which will be, uh, I, I'm guessing it'll probably be about this tall. Um, so we got the little door stitched onto it. So uh, tonight we have some bricks that we will be stitching on these panels. And uh, I think we'll be prepping the next part as well. So I'll show you the project again. I have it up on my iPad here. And uh, um, you'll be able to see kind of what we're doing and uh, the progress we're making so far. So thanks again for joining me, you guys. Uh, if you wanted to join this project, the link for it is below. It is a year long uh, stitch along that is being put on by Betts White and it's on the Teachable uh, site online. So teachable.com. And uh, uh, it is 12 of these cute little houses that we're making and they go with each of the seasons. So spring, summer, and then half of autumn, autumn have already been released, so you'll get all of those right away in the, in the Teachable. Uh, you'll get all the templates and everything right away, and then the rest of fall and winter has not come out yet, so that will, that will be still happening. Uh, we're doing the middle fall project. The first one was a really cute little schoolhouse, which I might try and make too, because it's just adorable. Uh, but let's continue on this one. Uh, so if you want more info, just check that link below here. Uh, and I'm going to flip you around and we'll get going tonight. Thanks again for joining me, everyone. Alrighty, here is where we left off. And uh, first of all, let's see, let's take a look at the app again. So this is, these are all the instructions on Teachable. And this is what we're doing tonight. So we are going to be putting in that stitching for the brick. But just to show you guys um, what this looks like again, uh, I'm just gonna go to the clock tower overview. Here we are, so that is what we're making. This is what we have right down at the bottom here. <laughs> so, you know, you can tell this is gonna be pretty sizable uh, if this represents just that little area down there. And we're also using more of a burgundy color and I use this little yellow for the door instead. But other than that, our colors are pretty much the same. Uh, so yeah, so we'll be doing some of this brick. We'll be brick laying tonight here. Uh, I think I'm gonna do it in burgundy floss. We have this burgundy here. Oh, here's that burgundy color for uh, that I'm using for the, the sides instead of this purple, um, just because I liked it. And they didn't actually have the purple at Joann's when I went. So I'm doing like this purple and gold. Uh, I think it's gonna be really cute together. So we're gonna be stitching with this burgundy uh, tonight. Um, so now I'm going to go into Teachable. I'm going to go down to back to stitching the pedestal where we left off here. Oops, so this is what we'll be doing later today, stitching the tower. There we go, back to stitching the pedestal. So this is all what we did last night. And uh, now we are on to the brickwork. So let's do that. Alrighty, so um, we're not tracing any designs or anything like that. Let's see if I can find the original here. We're just going to kind of use this as a guide. So we have just a bunch of straight lines that are drawn on here, and then they're just kind of separated like a brick kind of. So um, let's, just, let's just draw a little test right here. Um, so kind of what we're doing is it looks like four kind of parallel lines. We'll measure, we'll measure the distance there and they don't seem to be equally like, you know, some go off the edge a little bit more than others, which is fine. And then, uh, the brickwork. So every other one has to match up and then you go like the width of a brick. 
So we'd go like right there. And it looks like, you know, maybe we'll go put one right here maybe or something like that. And then we can always add another up here or something. So I think that's all we really need to do. That kind of gives the effect. This one has ones that go up and down. This one doesn't. So we can kind of just do whatever we want. So uh, a couple little, little straight lines. Let's get a small ruler. Grab one from behind me. Let's just kind of see how wide these are just so we have a general idea. So they're about 3 16ths of an inch. We don't have to be perfect. I think we're just going to kind of sketch them on here. So I'm using my friction pen just because I know it'll kind of disappear with, um, with the iron, but I'm hoping that I'm not going, that I'm hoping that we'll stitch right over it so I won't need it. So they're all kind of in the middle here. Um, let's just start right here. Yeah, they kind of suggest bricks. It's not like a, you know, perfect brick world or whatever. Yeah, okay, so I can see this though, right? We'll stitch from there to there. And I'm going like a 16, 3 sixteenths of an inch, and I'm just gonna draw another line. Some will draw longer or wider than others, and we'll just see what happens. I'm just gonna do four. I think as long as these lines are kind of straight, we'll be fine. All right, so that's kind of cute. Uh, let's let's just draw some lines in there, right? One right there. We're making our little kind of fake bricks here. I want this one to be the same as this one down here. That looks pretty cute. I think I'm gonna put one more down here because I it looks like I put it up a little higher, so we'll we'll like equalize it out by putting one down there. I think that's I think this looks nice. Okay, there we go. They're all kind of different lengths, that's fine. Alright, that's cute. Alright, I like that. So let's um I wanna start it the same I didn't think about this, but I, I wanna start at the same place. On, on each of them, so it's just a little bit more than, uh, it's almost, it's like 5 sixteenths or so, just a hair over 5 sixteenths. So let's, let's do that over here. So it was about right there, right? About right there. And I'm just kind of aligning it to the to the bottom edge here. All right, let's do it again. We'll just uh, some different lengths here. Three sixteenths. So she only had designs on the. Um, these two not on the back so I think maybe just just because let's let's just well I don't know should we do all, all three I just thought maybe it'd go quicker if we just did did the two but I suppose we can see how we feel all right that's kind of cute all right let's let's go like that I'm trying to make them similar size to last time. Let's put one here. Okay, and we'll overlap it a little bit. And then we'll put one more down low, so like right, right there. Ooh, that's looking good. Okay, that's cute. Okay, I like it. Um, you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of tempted to do this last panel, but maybe that's just me being me, uh, being too, uh, finicky while I'm <laughs> while it's late here. I think let's just start with these two and see see how we feel about the back one. But I think that turned out really cute. I think that's gonna be nice. So all right, I'm gonna use uh, we're gonna use the burgundy thread just because I think it's pretty and we have it and it'll match. Um, so again, if you guys pull, you know, I have a skein of floss here. If you pull the thread, I mean, I already pulled it out, but like you can usually see like a little bit of thread here. If you pull on the side that has the bigger uh, label, 
it should it shouldn't twist up you should just be able to pull it out like there's the loop coming there it should just come out without tying into so many knots <laughs> although i don't know if that's really working here but that's that's the theory i'm gonna get a little bit more out of here there we go so i can actually keep my um labels on there so all right i have a pretty good chunk going here kind of longer than I usually like stitching with, but it was fun pulling, pulling the thread out of there. Okay, so needle, here you are. Oh, I still have black floss on there from last night. We'll have to find a place to use this this yellow because I think that was, it was just, it's just so pretty too. All right, so I'm gonna tie a knot in the back here again and we are going to do a back stitch for all of these so i could in theory uh you could make a tiny brick template it would make the bricks oh the same size throughout the project oh that's a good idea you know what let's make notes so i know instead of a brick template we'll make notes so i want i want these to be three sixteenths apart, so we'll we'll stay um, we'll stay consistent with that, and uh, I think that's really all I need to know. I mean, I suppose we could measure how wide we kind of made these bricks, even though I think I did it differently. But I think if we get that three sixteenth, we'll be pretty good. All right, so I, this is like seven eighths inch, and what's this one? Oh, that's just um, just shy of an inch. So we'll call the bricks brick width equals seven eighths to one inch. All right, so here's here's our little guide. So instead of making a template. Um, there's our little guide and you know, I'll just put, this was about five eighths inches as well. If we, if we, um, end up making up, making them as high, but they kind of just all, they, I kind of, um, I kind of started them up a little high, but then I added that little tick mark, uh, to bring it back down. So it's kind of just centered there. So maybe, maybe as long as we're consistent per piece. But I do think um, this width, if we get that width and we get the bricks about the same size, I think that's pretty good. So that was a good idea. Got our little um, little notes there for later if we need them. Okay, let's do the back stitch. So we could make these vertical stitches like one big stitch, but I think I'm gonna do two back stitches there instead, just so we don't get any uh, toe catchers as they say. So we've been calling toe catchers when you make a really big stitch or um, you make too big of a jump in the back of your stitching so that it look, so a toe could, could get caught in there. <laughs> oh my gosh, it hit a hundred by you guys today. Ah, it was, um, it was like low fifties today. I, had, and just raining. So I had, uh, but it was fun because I got to test out my new raincoat. I got a new raincoat and I've been just itching to wear it in the rain. And uh, that rain was provided for me this week for sure. Um, but yeah, so it's been, it's been chilly. We do not have snow though. Thank goodness. Cause, oh, I'm not ready for that. Um, it's just so crazy that some people have feet of snow and some people have, um, you know, 100 degree weather in the same country. Pretty crazy. It's a big country. Um, but yeah, so it was, a, it was a little chilly here. Your mid 50s. Yeah, we were kind of lowish 50s uh, and rain. Uh, so I, I almost wish that I had my winter coat on instead. <laughs> Just to just to be a little, a little bit warmer. Um, nope, I'm not filling the bricks in. I'm just gonna do a back stitch um, to kind of outline them. I suppose you could do 
whatever you wanted. If I were to fill them in, I mean, like, I'm kind of, I'm kind of thinking that it's like, the bricks are gray, right? And we're just, because of the felt, and we're just kind of outlining um, them a little bit just to give a hint of their existence. So that's, that's kind of, kind of how I'm seeing it. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't fill it in with like a satin stitch or anything because they're already kind of filled in by the act of um, this gray background. So they're not really bricks. Maybe we're, maybe we're, uh, we're defining some cinder blocks here or something. <laughs> uh, all right, so we almost have this first row done. I'm doing that sewing method of the back stitch where I go in and out right away in the same, um, same stitch. I think that's sometimes easier when you don't have a hoop and you're just holding it to just go that in and out stitch right away. Okay, let's just jump over to here. Going up to the next level. I think this burgundy is awfully cute. It's still really dark, so from far away it'll just feel dark like these out like this these black outlines, which is fine. And then up close you'll see that oh it's the same color as that felt. That's kind of fun. Oh, Kathy, I have no idea why that is, um, that the comments aren't coming through for you yet. Um, don't really know what to do about that. You could try, uh, I know there is a swipe thing where um, you can turn them off and on. Yeah, like try swiping to the left or something. Um, it might, you could, I don't, I think you might have done this already, but um, you can delete the app completely, like totally uninstall the app. You won't lose your data, you won't lose your login or anything like that. I mean, know what your login is before, before you do that. Um, but you can delete, uninstall, like if you go to your, I don't know what kind of phone you have, but if you go to wherever you download stuff or look at your apps and click uninstall, it will uninstall it completely from your phone and then you can go back to you know the Apple Store or the Play Store and um, re-download it and uh, um, that can solve things sometimes and <laughs> I hate to say this because it drives me batty but it actually might be the case because whenever I go off on like technology to my husband and he he says this, it, it usually works, but you could try turning your phone completely off and then turning it back, back on. <laughs> I know that's just, I always feel like that sounds so condescending, but um, that might actually do the trick. <laughs> Otherwise, maybe try uninstalling it completely and, and loading it again. Oh yes, Angie. So all of these videos, uh, they they stay on Facebook in my videos area, but all the replays are also on YouTube. Uh, my YouTube is uh, Penguin and Fish Movies. Oh, then the same thing, Kathy. You can you can uh, uninstall it on the iPad and then reinstall it. I mean, I don't know if that will solve it, but I know when I've had some weird Facebook stuff happening that that seemed to help it out. All right, going to the next level and then I gotta get these little guys. And then we will be on to the other side of the door. I think this is gonna look super cute. Oh yeah, I, I know what you mean, Kathy. Um, that's the best part is that we can just chit chat and see see everyone's comments here. Oops, lost my needle there. Okay. 
Alright, I'm gonna skip down and do this line and then I have one more stitch to do on this horizontal line here. And I'm gonna kind of jump to the middle. It's cute! And I'm really happy with how the, the bricks, the lines turned out. I think that um, that turned out good. Yeah, I know uninstalling the app and reinstalling it sounds super scary. <laughs> but uh, everything, your user and everything, that, that will still exist. So you won't actually lose any of that. All right. Ooh. Up to the next level. Ooh, I might have just enough floss. I don't think I would have had enough if I just did two pulls from from the skein. Keep an eye out for you, your emails in the next couple days, you guys. I will have um, an email going out. I will have the those stitch bundles up soon. All right, here is my last stitch. Let's tie this off and go to the back. Ugh, it's cute. It's really cute. I like it. <laughs> okay, uh, let's just tie a knot. I was gonna weave in the ends, but we'll we'll tie a little knot. Um, nope, I, I don't have them up there quite yet, or I'm, I'm working on it right now, so um, soon I will have the make clay. Um, someone did win, so I did, I did email her, so if you haven't received an email from me about it, and they've responded, and I've already sent it out to them, so uh, there is a winner. Um, I probably won't announce it just, you know, so they can have their privacy, but uh, um, if they're here, they can say for themselves, but um, so there is a winner <laughs> and they know it. So if you don't know it, then <laughs> you probably didn't win. But however, I am gonna have a little special um, uh, for the people who signed up that's only going to be available to them. So uh, stay tuned for that email. Um, I'm hoping ugh, it just, everything just always takes longer than I think. So I'm hoping that email will go out tomorrow, um, hopefully even tomorrow morning. So um, I think I actually just got the listings almost complete and I will have links for them. And if you didn't sign up, um, I will send an email out to you so you have links links to the um, kits as well. Um, so there's that. Uh, so that will go out this week for sure yet. But I'm excited, that was kind of fun. I'm hoping to do more little giveaways like that um, and more like flash sales. Uh, holidays are coming up and uh, I think I'm gonna have some special holiday things. Oh Doris, so I had a little giveaway um, 
going from a, a week or so ago. And it was a giveaway for our three, our make clay, clay, make play and craft um, embroidery kits. They're smaller embroidery kits and they have everything um, for that you need to start stitching with them. And uh, um, it came with a pile of extras, like uh, a pack of flower sack kitchen towels to stitch on and uh, a cute little embroidery scissors, a poppy uh, red colored embroidery scissors, and a cute, this, that stitching hedgy bag, um, and uh, a pack of 20 uh, skeins of embroidery floss. So that whole thing um, was the giveaway. And I am, going to have it on my website uh, for a little bit, although we only have like 14 of them. <laughs> so they won't be on the website very long, but I did put some smaller bundles together. So there's a bundle where you can get all three plus the cute little, um, the cute little uh, kitchen towels, because I would like to do a kitchen towel stitching. I think that would be fun. Um, and then they'll all be up individually as well. So I'm working on that. Um, you might even see, <laughs> they may or may not be up there right now. I'm currently kind of working on them. Um, but if you signed up for the giveaway, um, you'll get a little email with a little, uh, coupon for, for, uh, the kits in there. So keep an eye on your emails tomorrow, you guys. And if you didn't get on the email, or if you didn't get on to that uh, giveaway email, you can actually still sign up from that the, that same post. It's lower on my on the Penguin Fish page. Uh, it won't be enter, entered for the giveaway anymore, but uh, if you do want the discount, you could still sign up on there. But it's only for people who are on, on that, that list. Oh yeah, the kitchen towels are fun. I'm I'm excited to start playing with those. Uh, I I just got a box of them, a whole pile of them, and they look really fun. So the the kitchen towels are like 24 inches by 16 inches, so they're just a nice, easy uh, size kitchen towel, and I think uh, I think it'd be fun to stitch some of those designs, those cute little like wreath circle shape designs from that pattern, from those kits onto them. Someone else has an embroidery towel. Oh, starting the first of the year. Oh, fun. <laughs> yeah, I, I, um, I think uh, we'll see, we'll see uh, how uh, you guys, uh, how the sale goes. Like if you guys like them, um, then maybe I'll, I, I'm thinking I want to maybe order some more and just have them in, in the shop as just blank towels if you wanted to do, if you just wanted to stock up on some blank towels to stitch on. So um, right now I don't have that as an option, um, but if it ends up, like if we sell a bunch of them, then I'll, then I'll order some more and just have them as blanks. Oh, you already know you'll like them. <laughs> yeah, so I might I might just have them as blanks. But I do think um, I want to do, you know, we, we, we made that make embroidery. Do I have that around here? Uh, I must have moved that, but, oh, I see it, but it's far away. Um, we did that, the make embroidery. And uh, we have that other one, that uh, play, create, do one, and then the craft a happy life one as well. But it would be fun to stitch at least one of those on to, to the towel. And I'd like to do that. Um, after I do the, the, um, after I send an email out about them and we do a little sale for them, um, I think we'll take, we'll take a day or two and stitch on, uh, stitch on one of those kitchen towels. So that'll be fun. That, it just feels so traditional, um, for towels. Oh, Grace, I don't think I did. Oh, I'll have to look next time I'm, not next time I'm home. 
I'll ask about them for sure. Yeah, we weren't weren't very or home for very long last time. I'll be going. Um, gosh, we'll be going. I'm you guys. I'm traveling so much this summer. It's just it's out of my nature a little bit. I feel like, but um, so well, and then uh, um, seeing seeing family a lot, which has been really nice. But uh, so my brother is coming up this weekend on his way back to the ski hills. And uh, um, then I will be back visiting my parents the weekend, next weekend. So next week uh, might be a little abbreviated for the week. So we'll have to take a look at, I'll let you guys know what's happening there. Because we, we have a wedding to go to. So yeah, this summer just kind of flew by. And um, yeah, I don't know what it'll be like for fall and all that, but yeah, we definitely did a lot more, a lot more traveling and seeing family and stuff this, this, uh, summer, which is nice. But yeah, so when I'm, I will ask mom about, about your towels, Grace, when I'm there next. All right, almost done. Oh, we got one more row here yet. It's cute though. I definitely like the six strands of floss. So I have not, I've not split this floss. Usually I like embroidering with three strands of floss. And I know for the splendid sampler, we oftentimes do it with two strands. Uh, but I'm using all six here. And again, I think it's just, we got some heftier, heftier fabric. Um, it almost wants the, the six strands, just so it looks, just to give it some heft to all the stitches. It's some 3D. Um, oh, am I going camping before this wedding? <laughs> no, so that's right. Uh, <laughs> there was a different wedding. That was, oh, I think that was last year. I think it was only a year, yeah. Um, my cousin was getting, this is John's cousin that's getting married, uh, my husband's cousin. And uh, uh, my cousin got married last year, and we are going to camp. Uh, <laughs> we are totally going to camp, because uh, it was at, like, this campground. And uh, then we totally wimped out, and we stayed in my parents' camper instead. <laughs> it was so windy. Uh, I think it was just windy and, like, super-duper cold. Um, the night before, like way more than what we were prepared for. And we would have had to set it up for the first time ever, the tent and in the dark. And so we were like, meh, let's, let's bail. <laughs> so we actually didn't end up camping, um, but we were in a camper and we were on a campground. So <laughs> depends who you ask if we were camping or not. All right, that is it. Let's uh, tie this off. So now we can we can decide if we want to do um, the last the last side. Um, Bets does not have that stitched in hers, um, so maybe we just keep going. We could always come back and add more, I think, too, if we really want to. But why don't we just leave it leave it here? I mean, the back will be, like, against the wall or whatever anyway, right? So right now we got these cute little sides. Oh, my gosh. It is cute, isn't it? All right. I really, really like it. So I think let's just move on. Uh, we can always we can always come back to that. So let's let's take a look at the iPad again here. All right. So that's that's what we did right there. Oh my gosh, it really is freaking cute, isn't it? All right, um, all right, so uh, stitching the pedestal, we're done with that. So we can click the complete and continue tab, and all right, so now uh, I already hit complete on all of those because I looked ahead, so it shows um, I'm 15% co complete with the whole course, but look up here, it's all of the other, oops, it's all of the other um, 
all of the other classes. So this one I, I marked off too because I was I was looking at it, but like here's that lighthouse. You know, it might take a little time to load here. Meh. I just want to show you guys the oh there's the lighthouse so that, I, I feel like this is pretty similar to the one that we're making now but isn't that freaking adorable ah look at that cute little hut um yeah so I once I make all these other ones like here's the the ice cream shop I think is just that's one of my favorite ones um I'll let it load but you know every time you uh, hit complete and continue on one of these then your uh bar will just um will uh, like keep going. I'm just gonna click away and then back to it. I think this is just acting super slow on my iPad here. But there we go. <laughs> look how cute! And look, it looks like the felt was like folded back for the for that roof. It is just too freaking adorable. So this one I think would be really fun. <laughs> A fun summer one to make. But anyway, let's go back to ours. Um, we are on stitching the tower. Okay, so begin by marking the vertical lines on the felt tower using the template for reference um, and then place the windows and felt and mark the inside openings. Okay, cool. And it looks like um, it is time to cut out these bits too. So, all right. Let's get down here. So we, this is the tower. So let's find the tower sheet. It's one of these. Oh, here we go. So we want to start out. First of all, I'm going to pull our um, template off here. But we do need to mark these. Um, we need to mark these lines. So I think I might actually have a white pencil, although I think I think it's kind of showing this. Uh, I think our pen might show up, so let's let's just see if that's the case. So I'm gonna just mark. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna just keep using this pen. All right, I'm marking those top points, and um, the bottom points, and then we'll connect those lines, and then we kind of kind of place place these guys, but. I think we need to, first I have to locate those, <laughs> and um, there, this is long enough, and uh, we need to cut out the windows on our gray pieces, and then we need to cut them out on this too, it looks like. All right, I can see this enough. And this will go away once we iron it, but I'm hoping that we stitch over and you won't be able to see it anyway. Okay, there. All right, let's find our pieces. Okay, so this is one. All right, here's another one. Boop, boop. And then we got our two little round windows. here we are for those so first off I'm going to um, I'm going to trim these away and uh, uh, then we will trace it onto here so I'm wondering if I can do that with this template on yet because that would be nice let's I'm gonna use my <laughs> my jummy scissors I know this is always so weird but I love the scissors I think it cuts the best out of all my scissors. So I'm going to try and get real precise here with this, which is maybe crazy. Maybe I should use that little embroidery scissors. The trick is I don't want my um, freezer paper to come off quite yet because I'm using it as a guide here. So I gotta make sure I'm holding that so it doesn't accidentally come off. Oh, good night, Nolene. Or good afternoon. <laughs> All right, we're 
we're getting it. So I don't think we're going to get too far on this part tonight, but um, we'll at least get pieces prepped. So that's going to go, we'll place them. So it'll go somewhere like that. I'll, I'll like measure though to make sure vertically it's, it's in the right spot. Um, and we'll do the same thing with this and then the same with these. We're going to cut out these inner shapes. Oh yeah, I gotta keep that freezer paper on though. It's gonna wanna flap off on me. I don't think we have to be actually so perfect. I mean like these lines will be exposed or these edges. So I don't want them to be super jaggedy, but I think we're gonna be blanket stitching around them. So that will hide any super jaggedy edge. I'm just worried about getting like a nice clean edge, but again, I don't, I think we'll be able to cover that up. Oh, this is cute. All right, let's pull that freezer paper off. All right, that guy will go here. Ooh, he just fits in there. This guy here is easier. All right. Oh, Robin, I think so. Um, all signs point to yes. However, the, my brother will be in town, so I'm not quite sure what will be happening. Um, but I'm I'm planning on it, and I want to work on the um, the triangle tango quilt because it is finish it Friday. It's the first Friday of the month. And the first Friday of the month, we quit what we're working on and we break out something, some unfinished guy that's sitting around here still. And <laughs> I started the, the triangle tangle quilt. I started it on a finish it Friday, which is against finish it Friday rules, but I, I figured I bought the fabric at that point, I bought the fabric and the pattern, and at that point, it's an unfinished project. <laughs> uh, so, even though we started, so now I'm at the stage where it's like, okay, now we gotta do some of the finishing stuff for it. So we're sewing together the rows right now. So we are, we're pretty far with it. But yeah, so I think I'll clean up here a little, and uh, um, we will get that out. Oops. This goes like this. So I want to just do a quick, I mean, this doesn't have to be perfect, I don't think, but here, I'm just going to put this next to the pattern and we'll just kind of get our vertical sense from, from that. I think that looks good. And then I'm just going to keep folding. This is my um, freezer paper, so we're not going to need that anymore. Right, that gets a little lower, and they're all just kind of centered. So I'm just getting the vertical, and then we'll we'll center center them like this one's not centered. It does not have to be perfect. I'm gonna actually use the first one again for this. Scooch it down a hair. That's good. Oh, you didn't get to the triangle tango. Well, you're welcome to start it on Friday. <laughs> All right, I think that looks pretty good. I'm standing up just to peek from above, just to make sure it's all kind of, you know, even with each other. I'm totally eyeballing it. All right, and 
Um, the reason I don't want to do this is because I want to, I mean, I'm going to actually move these soon, but I am going to, I'm going to just draw inside the um, openings because we need to actually cut out those openings in, in um, our purple as well. So I'm going to use the insides as, as my lines. And then I'm gonna move that out of the way. All right, so that's that's what I need to cut out. So I'm gonna try and keep these in order too. So we cut them out and then I think we glue them and stitch them on once it's already cut out. Trace. There we go. Cute. All right, and last one. I know cutting out scares me a little bit. Luckily, I have tons of fabric left over. But again, um, our stitching, because we're going to be doing a blanket stitch, I believe, on the outside of these, and that stitching is going to hide a lot of, you know, any edge mistakes. Like if I cut something out too big or small or, or it's a little goofy, or I clip in a little too far, I, I don't think uh, we're going to have that big of a problem. All right, so we'll cut these out, and then I think that is probably all we'll get to tonight here. Um, but we're all prepped for tomorrow. Yeah, so we'll see how far we get tomorrow on Thursday, and then it is Finish It Friday. Uh, where I'm hoping that we'll be working on the triangle tango quilt. Oh, yep, I think the windows go in here, but I don't think they go in yet. I, I don't, I'm not sure they go in until later, so I'm not worrying about the windows yet. The windows meaning the, the like, frosty vellum, so, um, those are not part of these instructions yet, so I'm guessing they happen later. Ha, <laughs> the clock tower just gets cuter and cuter. It sure does. <laughs> and it's it's just so much cuter like in front of me than it is in a photo, you know? Like it's a cute photo um, that Betts has, but man, when you can touch the felt and just see like the 3D, how like 3D the door looks even just because it's you know, layer upon layer of felt is just so cute. Um, but yeah, they're even more cute than what they are in the photos, which is crazy because they're pretty cute in the photos. All right, neat. Two more. I am a little afraid at snipping outside the lines on, on these circles, but again, we're going to be covering up any mistakes. Felt is so flexible like that. And the embroidery is just gonna hide, hide whatever. And you know, we're not gonna really have any problem anyway, I don't think. We're gonna have to do this for that um, hell text too, those stuff that makes it all sturdy. So I think we'll, we'll have more of this sort of thing to be cutting out later, I suspect. And then I just want to put those um, windows back on just because I want to see what it looks like. We'll see what the next instructions are. Oop, there I went a little far. Okay, cute. All right.
right, so next up, set the windows aside and sharp scissors cut out the openings. Okay, we did that. So the next part is we are just going to glue with the glue stick. We're going to glue stick these on. And you know what? I think I might do that before we head out for the night. Um, so I'm going to put all these back. And then we'll glue stick that on. So the glue stick is for stuff that we'll eventually be stitching down, I think. Um, so we're only like, we don't want like a bunch of gunk there from the, from the tacky glue, I don't think. So um, I'm going to just, let's just fold this back. Well, eh, let's just pull the whole thing off. I'm going to go around this and we're going to just glue stick this down. Again, we are going to stitch it. So this doesn't, this isn't like the non-permanent glue. The permanent glue would be the tacky glue. And actually, I think we might be able to do that next step too yet tonight. It looks like we're just gluing down. We have those black, um, black like window sills and those get tacky glued down. We might get to that yet tonight in the next five minutes here. <laughs> First, let's uh, finish getting these guys on. Again, we'll be stitching all this down so I'm not too worried about getting it glued perfectly. A lot of little fun stuff to stitch. What a funny thing to be sitting around and doing. <laughs> we are sitting making a little clock tower out of felt. That's neat. Okay, so that's like our temporary um, putting there. You know, I don't know. So you can just use, Kelly, you can just use a normal like Elmer's glue stick. I don't know where I got this from. It is probably a decade old. Um, I'm just kind of trying to use it up, but it is just, um, it's, it dries clear and it's just a washable um, non-toxic glue stick. And that's the same as like an Elmer's glue stick. Any sort of glue stick that you'll get in like the kids section. Um, at tar Target or something. All right, so I think we can prep these little black pieces yet. So I gotta find them first. So there are two tiny little black pieces. Here's one. Here's the other one. Okay, so these go down here like windowsills. So they actually cover this whole bottom area like that. Cool. Okay, that's kind of fun. So this actually gets tacky glued down. Um, so let's let's remove our um, pieces here. Okay, and let's glue glue them on. Ooh, that's a lot of glue. Okay, let's spread that around a bit. We won't be doing any stitching tonight, so... Um, so I won't get anything gunked up with glue. Alright, I think that is probably plenty. And this goes right over this gray and I'm going to kind of stretch it out a little bit because I want it to cover the gray. There we go. That's a windowsill and let's get the other one.
So, and then this is tacky glue. And I got just the itty bitty um, size, just because I thought it was like, oh, I didn't know it came in that size. That's pretty cute. And I bet you I don't need more than that. So I got like this small itty bitty size, but uh, it's recommended to get the, the next size up, the like normal looking size. Um, but again, I think if you're just doing this one, that could be good. Oh yeah, toothpick, that would have been a good idea. Um, gosh, I don't even know if I have a toothpick. Uh, but if I find one, I will bring that out for the next time we work on this. Let's get a little bit of that glue away. And there we go, that's our second windowsill. <laughs> it's looking pretty dang cute. So here's uh, this part, it goes on here somehow yet. Um, we gotta do all our stitching for this, but we're kind of getting a little, little sense of it already and it's just so adorable. So just so you guys know, next up, so here's, here's hers with the, the purple. Next up will be, we'll be stitching around the, um, oops, we'll be stitching around those, those windows. So that is, that's the next bit. So that'll be really cute. Uh, but we're, we're completely prepped, so I think we should uh, be able to get that done no problem tomorrow. I mean, we do have four windows to go around, which is kind of a lot, but again, I think, um, Oh, we have to mark them off yet too, but I don't think that'll be, I don't think that'll be too hard. So then we'll have, um, by tomorrow, we'll have two finished pieces. We'll have the, uh, the pedestal and the tower part. And after that is the clock house and the roof. Um, so the roof has a lot of details on, so that'll be kind of interesting. So, um, this tomorrow yet, so that's Thursday, then we'll clean up around here and we'll get the triangle tango quilt out for finish it Friday. And then we will jump back onto our stitching of, of these guys here. So, all right, you guys, I'm going to flip you around and we'll call it an evening. All right. Hello. So I'm happy, happy we got that all prepped. <laughs> Sorry. Soon, once I get this video stuff together, um, I won't be flipping you guys around like this so much. So, all right. So here is the uh, that uh, the tower so far, and our little um, there. You can see the burgundy and the burgundy, the burgundy stitching and the burgundy um, uh, background kind of match. So that's kind of cute. That'll bring it together a little bit. Cute. <laughs> It's just so sweet. It really is. Um, so I, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with this. So we'll have our, we'll have our little tower uh, around for Halloween for sure. <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, I will get this up on YouTube at Penguin and Fish Movies. You can watch the replay there of this whole project so far. And again, if you are interested in working on this, the link for it is below. And also keep a, a lookout for your emails. Uh, either tomorrow or Friday. It, it's got to go out this week sometime. I'm still writing it though. Um, but keep an eye out for your emails. Uh, I'll have a special for that make, play, um, craft, those three embroidery kits with, with those towels and fun extras. So uh, keep an eye out for that as well. So thank you. Have a wonderful evening and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.